What's up everyone, this is Max Red. Today we're going to work with the Captain Chords Epic plugin. Mixed in Key recently released their latest version of this chord building system and it has been really great for creating and writing your own chord progressions, really for any genre of music. It is an awesome cheat code to have and it can make your life a lot easier while making music. So let's get started. To get started, we simply create an instance of Captain Chords Epic in our rack. We then create our track. When our plugin opens, we can choose the scale that we are working in. Today we'll keep it simple and work in C major. You can see all the different scales that you can choose from. On our interface, there'll be many options available. We have options for choosing chords, rhythmic options, sound selections, and you can see that the chords are displayed here on the top. We'll cover the different playback options later in this video. For this example, we can simply lay out this popular chord progression. By clicking the Add button, we can then select that respective chord right onto our interface. The default length is one chord per measure. Once we lay out our chords, we can edit as needed. Okay, let's listen to that now. In Cubase, we set the markers for a 4 bar range so we can loop our chord progression. You can set longer lengths, but for this example, we'll stick to the 4 bar format. Since we are making a house type of rhythm, we then set our tempo for 128 BPM. Captain Chords has a variety of sounds available. We can change the default piano to play back a different instrument. You can select by genre or instrument type. Let's see what this piano riffic sounds like. At this point, we can actually edit the MIDI notes to customize our chord progression. We can change the velocity or simply click right on our playlist to add some notes. Let's make a few changes and listen to those now. Okay, here's our edited chord progression. Once we are happy with our chords, we can then render and save the audio, use the MIDI for a different track, 
or use one of your existing VSTs to generate the sound coming from your MIDI. Let's hear this audio file that we created. If you want to hear your chord progression in a different VST, you can select the plugin tab here and then choose your instrument. We'll choose Massive by Native Instruments as our example. Once your VST opens up, you can select any sound for your chords to be played back on. Let's try this pad type of sound. Well, we can always change it to something else. We can also render this as an audio clip of the newly selected pad sounds. Don't forget to name and label your audio for better organization. Let's listen to the two layers that we have already. Now the last way you can play your sound is to open up a separate VST instrument and drag your MIDI pattern right onto the playlist. For this example, we'll use Serum as our VST instrument and drag the MIDI right onto that track. Okay, let's listen to this pattern from the Serum VST now. Captain Chords Epic has many customization options that make this plugin really fun to work with. Instead of creating our own chords, we can select from preset patterns and rhythmic options. Here we can select by genre, by style, or progression. This is a really handy plugin for layering your chords with different sounds and patterns. To quickly change the rhythm, we simply go to this drop down menu and select any of the rhythmic presets. Let's see what we can come up with here. Let's try another one. Okay, one more just for show. There's also a sound design section to make some edits to your sounds. Let's hear some of them.
You can also change the pitch of your chords. So as you can see, this plugin can be really helpful in speeding up your workflow and helping you overcome beat block by generating new ideas. That's all I have for today. Please subscribe and hit like if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.